Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to add two numbers using Quantum Fourier Transform. The original paper had ignored some details that I fixed and present the algorithm that will only take 2n plus 1 qubits. In the fourth video in this series, I described how to add two numbers using an algorithm that mimics a classical algorithm for the same. You can click on the link to watch that video. Due to reversibility requirements, this algorithm takes 3 n qubits. But it appears that this might not be the natural approach for adding numbers on a quantum computer. Let us first review some of the concepts developed in the fifth video on quantum Fourier transform. Rotations will play important role in many algorithms that will be described in this series. As we described, zk does rotation about z-axis by an angle 2 pi by 2 power k. A power j of this rotation can be implemented cleverly using only k rotations controlled by the bits of j. We denote this circuit by zk power k. Here, the lower k denotes division by 2 power k and the upper k denotes control by k qubits. We saw that the state after applying quantum Fourier transform is factorizable and we can work as if we are rotating individual qubits. As quantum Fourier transform is a unitary operation, it has inverse and its action can be described as if it rotates individual qubits in opposite direction. This reverts the qubits back to their initial state. The modified version of the power gate used in the quantum Fourier transform is represented by zk power k minus 1. The lower k denotes division by 2 power k while the upper k minus 1 denotes control by k minus 1 qubits. The idea in using quantum Fourier transform for addition is to start with the first number a and apply quantum Fourier transform to it. Then modify the resulting state in some way such that we get quantum Fourier transform of a plus b. Finally applying inverse Fourier transform gives back the required sum. There is one crucial detail that can foil this plan. The number of bits to represent A plus B can be one more than those in A or B. As the Fourier transform of A, uses only n qubits, the obtained Fourier transform for A plus B may be incorrect. This problem has the following workaround. For simplicity, we assume that the input numbers A and B use only n 1 bits in their binary representation. We append a zero bit at the beginning of A and call it AN minus 1. Then, we compute the quantum Fourier transform of this modified A as follows. These sequences of steps show what we would like to get. Notice that we do not modify B. The missing detail in our strategy is just controlled rotations of the qubits in the Fourier transform of A. We rotate individual qubits such that each exponential factor adds appropriately. Finally, we apply inverse Fourier transform to recover the sum. The following circuit outputs the Fourier transform of the sum. Notice that the last qubit of B is used twice with different rotations. The first rotation is usual. The second rotation is to shift the bits of B by one more position to account for the additional zero we appended in the binary expansion of A. This modification reduces the required number of qubits by one. In fact, this is optimal in the sense that the algorithm matches the minimum number of qubits required to store the output. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.